Black boys move in silence. Self-reliance. Everybody know exactly what you got. They saw your YouTube video with you there on the block. Now you pop and you can't stop showing what you got. Now they at your lock, trying now to break into your spot. Stop! Running off the mouth about what you've been getting. It only makes a jealous dude start rubbing on his weapon. These are life lessons. Get your cash and keep stepping. Put the cash away. It could be gone in three seconds. No one in the hood is like, my wrists on freeze. Because the hood know we living with these crooks and thieves. Envies and greed leads men to need too much. The gun and the knife they clutch. You talk too much. I had to start my video over because it got deleted. So hours of uploading, but not uh, But that's okay because now I got a better video. And I was telling you earlier about this dude, uh, Kent Hovind. He's got this shit, free Kent Hovind. And the Illuminati set him up big time. He's lucky he's still alive and he's out of jail. So you know what he's doing. Same thing he's doing before he went to jail. This is his uh, YouTube channel. And he's got free seminars on here. I think these are the ones, the world classes. But these seminars, incredible. And I think these are the, the ones that are like three hours long. I'm pretty sure it's the creation ones. So this is a lot of the uh, stuff that he covers. It's pretty much end time prophecies and you know, stuff like that. Book on end times. And you gotta ask yourselves a question. Why was the book of Enoch taken out of the Bible. Well, if you've ever read one page of the book of Enoch, you'll know why they took it out. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, come over to Kent Hovind, man. He's got some crazy shit. You'll fucking get an IQ boost instantly just by going to his page. All right, bunch of glasses and stuff. He talks about all sorts of different videos um, that that led up to it. Because what happened was Nelson Rockefeller lived in Maine somewhere, and I forget who it was, but anyways. Somebody put a fucking nuclear bomb or some shit next to his house. And I think that shit went off too. And uh, so it's got a bunch of shit to do with that. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, okay. CERN. Let me tell you about this first. Ever heard of the Black Knight Satellite? It's not ours. <laughs> Listen. This thing has been around, they're saying, in orbit up there for 13,000 years and astronauts they got stories of astronauts saying that like there's something following us <laughs> and it was this fucking satellite and the way that it's designed and everything um it's looking like it's a a mapping satellite 
in other words, like a, uh, the shit that does Google Maps, you know? It's an Earth, an Earth map satellite. And that's what they say, and I agree with them on that. Check this out. In 1899, Nikola Tesla developed high-voltage radio transmission equipment. He announced that he was receiving electrical signal, which appeared intelligent. The signal was clearly repeated periodically with such a clear suggestion of number and order. This led him to believe that the signal is extraterrestrial communication with aliens. Why would he assume that right off the bat? <laughs> At first he assumed that they were originating from Mars. Later he changed that opinion and stated in one of his news conferences that the signal was coming from somewhere else in space. A few years later, Guillermo Marconi was intercepted in strangely unknown artificial signal. 1927. I gotta shut this. So 1927, unknown mystery satellite orbiting the Earth has been detected. Astronomers as far back as 1927. Many astronomers reported mysteries, radio signals transmitted by this satellite. Then four years before the launch of Sputnik 1, folks, this is 1953, is when Earth first had a satellite. This fucking thing's been around since 1899. Okay? 1957. Wait a second. 1953, the object was discovered uh, again and by other scientists, uh, Department of Defense, apparently, blah, blah, blah. 1957, Communications Ministry in Venezuela photographed it while taking pictures of Sputnik 2 as it passed over Caracas. Unlike Sputnik 1 and 2, this mysterious satellite orbited in east-west orbit. The Russian and American satellite still this time and folks I'm going to tell you right now they don't have satellites satellites don't exist they're fake just like a bunch of other shit out there that's for another time um 1957 okay where you that it's the same thing he's got it twice what's going on here anywho Another mysterious satellite was discovered orbiting Earth in 1960, and it was in the polar orbit. Neither the U.S. nor Russian were capable of doing it at that time. So, this thing's been around for 70 years almost. <laughs> okay, folks? Uh, weighed about 15 tons, which was the heaviest at that time, and it was too heavy for a rocket of that era anyhow. Uh, also traveled twice as fast as any known satellite at the time. Sighted and studied by many astronomers across the country. Doesn't even have the decency to maintain a regular schedule. It's basically out there like moving around intelligently wherever the fuck it wants to. And uh, let me show you a picture of this fucking one part of it. Because I know they don't, I gotta look for it. They don't show it on here. Yeah, of course not. Tell me folks. This is the Black Knight satellite right here. Tell me, what does this look like? I am the eye in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, God. The eye of Horus matches up perfectly with that. <laughs> that's that's called a mind fuck, folks. You just got mind fuck. Oh my goodness. Ah, look at flat earth. Nice little cover up they did. Look at look at the fucking uh 
That is horrible fate. Look at the fucking dimness of the light. It's horrible. So, what do you have to say about Mr. Conspiracy Theorist? Tell me what a fucking 13,000 year old satellite is doing up in space. One that mysteriously has an eerily similar depiction to the Eye of Horus. Touch that in a minute. I don't know how they fucking move the pyramid stones. That's how. Okay. No, not with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Imagine how tall this fucking guy was. Oh, I'm telling you. And I fucking believe the man. The man is... He was... He's... I mean, trust me. Steve Quayle. There's no one else you can trust more. In the fucking world. Alright, the guy says they had fucking... Skeletons of... 400 foot tall... Giants. He said the Smithsonian's got him. They got him in the Vatican. You know, you remember reading in the Bible that uh, they ran out of food and shit, so giants started eating the fucking humans? Huh? Yeah, that's not a fucking human skull. It's not even a fucking human. Hello! Earth to America! Get a shit. Explanato? Flat Earth. Okay, folks, get your pen and pad out. You're going to want to save this one. Well, all of them. Uh, Truthsoldier.com and NibiruSunset.com. Uh, actually, NibiruSunset.wordpress.com. There's a lot of sites over here that mix in together, but this is like the main one. I'm going to go to Giant Humans. NASA lies. Look at that shit. That's a fucking demon. I wonder what their DNA consists of. You know, these fucking people... Uh, the other day somebody was saying that... Like 8% of us or some shit isn't made up of our genetic ancestral DNA. It's made up of virus. I wanted to reach through the fucking TV and strangle somebody. Folks, come on over here and watch the fucking video. I have no theories, and I don't know what this conspiracy theorist shit is you speak of. All I know is, uh, someone's living in fantasy land and it's not me. Have you gone and looked up this shit? Have you seen the two fucking suns? Let me show you a sign. So go ahead, schmuck. I want someone to explain this to me. Just 
two sons and nobody says nothing, right? Hey, Ben, oh, George, two sons, three sons, and then how many sons we have? Look, I want to know what the fuck that is. Don't fucking tell me it's the moon. Don't fucking tell me, okay? Don't fucking tell me, okay? What I would do to a fucking professor right now. Gonna be covering this in the next video coming up shortly.